Welcome back. Over the last 20 years, many people have turned to the likes of Stephen Covey, Anthony Robbins, and Bob Proctor to assist them in acquiring the edge that will enable them to be the kind of person that they wish to be. There are many facets to success. Mastering, mastering them is the key. With that in mind, a new book comes out that walks us through the labyrinth to mastering self-motivation and personal leadership. The book is called The Twelve Disciplines to Living the Life of Your Dreams. And the author, Bob Yerichuk, joins us in our studios. Bob, welcome. Hello, Dan. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that I wanted to talk to you about is the edge that people are looking for. Now, our parents, at least to our knowledge, weren't necessarily looking for that edge. What makes that such a sort of our generation, a baby boomer generation phenomenon? Well, I guess it's part of what society expects of us, or we want to prove to society what we can be. And I think the, the message that a lot of people have out there about success is a little wrong. Okay. Because success really is doing what you want to do and having what you want to have. For example, uh, do you have any children? Nothing that I'm aware of. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, let's say you did and you wanted to stay at home and raise your kids. Let's say that was what you really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, you are a success if you're doing it. Right. But a lot of people look at it as, you know, got to have the fancy cars, the house, got to look good, all the rest of this stuff. And that's not really what success is all about. We see people with all these uh, material possessions, but they also owe a lot of money mm -hmm. and they're not very happy in doing what they're doing. So what we're trying to do here is get people to understand that it's what you want to do it's important, not what others want you to do. So through the 12 disciplines, what I've tried to do is, is put it together in such a way that people can self-discover mm -hmm. what the edge will be for them. And the first thing is finding out is what is it that they want out of life. Right. That's a question that a lot of people really don't know the answer oh, to. People have difficulty answering, who am I? If I was to take your roles away from you, Dan, mm -hmm. you're no longer a, you know, a TV announcer or, you know, or other roles, what is left? Who am I? Mm -hmm. And people have a hard time with that. Well, does that necessarily make up the person or are they just specific facets of that person? Well, you see, I look at it as the roles we play in life, okay, that's society. That's right. where we hang our hat. That's where we feel good about ourselves. It's like if you've been in a job and really performing well in a role as a manager of a large company or something, all of a sudden you lose that job. You're devastated. You're left by yourself. What's your identity? What's yeah. left? And people don't feel good about themselves. Similar situation is we all love compliments during the course of a day, don't we? I'm sure you like to get strokes. Well, I mean, Kim just stroked me here. Yeah, there you go. Just five minutes ago. So you see, we all love to get compliments, but part of the problem is we don't get enough in a day. So how do you get more? You got to give more. But why don't we give more? Is it because maybe we don't do this to ourselves enough? Because mm -hmm. how can you give something to somebody else you don't have? If you don't feel good about yourself, like if I didn't feel good about me, how can I compliment you? Well, that's... You know, a very good point, Bob, uh, and it's probably why you sat down to write the book. Uh, did you base your disciplines on anything specific that you've learned from reading other material, or were they specific instances in your life that sort of led you to include them as disciplines within your series? Okay, well, what I did is I sat down and started to write, uh, as actually started out about a year ago as an outline for a keynote speech. And I came up with 10 or 11 topics and then got 12. And I asked myself, what can I do here? And, and the whole thing is discipline. See, discipline is doing what you have to do even when you don't want to do it. Yeah. That's the tough part. So as I realized, what I really wrote here were disciplines and things you have to do in order to become the successor, to live that life of your dreams. But where did they come from? Where did they come from? Well, I, I did 25 years of reading and understanding. When I was a teenager, I first got exposed to the powers of the mind and what one has to do. So from then, I've, I've read every book. I've actually been obsessed with the whole self-motivation, personal leadership, goal setting, mind capabilities, visualization for the last 25 years. So when I sat down to write these, it was various ideas I picked up, applications, trial and error, things that have worked for me and have worked for others. And then there was a couple other points. One of the hardest parts that people found in any goal setting is how do you monitor and measure yourself on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. And that was the one that clicked and put it all together for me. And when I discovered that one, this was a self-creation, then everything fell into place. You see, one of the things is it takes 21 to 30 days to become a habit. Mm -hmm. For example, what I did is I created what I call the monthly monitor chart. It's a, it's a dual form and it's in the book. Right. But one side of the chart has all your goals listed out. And I, in this case, have them out to the year 2003. My future's all down in various categories. Okay. 
But on the other side, you have the days 1 to 31 across the top. Right. And then down the left-hand side are your daily activities. For example, I reviewed my goals this morning. Mm -hmm. Check mark. Noon, check. Yeah. And if you didn't, you don't check. But then I continue on to the things that are important to me, like, you know, I recognize and praise people all day. I look for opportunities to do that. I visualize. I talk positive to myself. Um, you know, I'm an empathetic listener. These are things and areas I want to improve in. But the key thing is, what are your top three goals for this month? Right. And what are the top three activities that you can do on a daily basis and then monitor yourself on it? You want to lose weight, you want to quit smoking, you want to, you know, uh, obtain or make more money. What are three things that you can do every month and then go out and do them and just check yourself? Yeah. And what you're going to find in 21 to 30 days, it becomes part of you and you start doing these things. I'm still astounded by the fact that people find that it's so difficult to do these things when other generations think that it was effectively commonplace to do that kind yeah. of thing. Well, it's not so commonplace today. I mean, no. take your New Year's resolutions. How many people are still, uh, you know, sticking to them? Well, I, I gave up broccoli and Brussels sprouts for, new, for my <laughs> New Year's resolution, and I've been able to stick with it so Good. far. Because it's usually about this time, around 16, 17 days later, that we start to give in. Yeah. And if they can just stretch it for another week, make it 21 to 30 days, you'll master it. One of uh, the nice things about your particular job now, which is... Uh, going around and talking to people and and the book is a spin-off of, of that kind of work that's right is the fact that you get to travel and yes. uh, you're becoming very very successful around the world yeah from a local boy standpoint uh, <laughs> how does that make you feel well it's funny you know um, I guess but I love doing what I'm doing yeah and I love traveling the world and speaking all over the world the difference is, it's funny that you end up doing more work outside of your own community than your own, in your own community. Mm -hmm. I've been on TV programs and radio stations around the world, and yet this is the first time in Ottawa. Wow. You know, isn't that something? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that's another story yeah, altogether. that is another story. Uh, but uh, in Singapore, which is a country you just returned from, yeah. they are likening this book to perhaps one of the most successful uh, self-help books ever printed, uh, The Seven Secrets to Success, Highly Successful People by Stephen, habits, yes. by Stephen Covey. Yes. Uh, that's a pretty lofty stature, don't you think? Yeah, actually I was quite impressed when I heard that. And, and what it is is Singapore people are very success driven. Okay? And they're looking at this as there's five extra disciplines. Mm -hmm. And it's a simple apply process. See, what I've done here is I've developed it in a way of adult learning where it's not just a read and think about it, it's a read, do, think about it, add to it. Mm -hmm. So the book has areas for writing in stuff as well. So it becomes part of a, an ongoing process, something you'll keep forever and be able to measure yourself over, over time. Do you find that uh, once people get involved in the actual physicality of reading and marking and getting into that discipline, that is that's one of the most effective ways that's where of it starts. changing? That's right, that's where it starts, because if you don't put pen to paper, you mm -hmm. don't have anything. It's just a dream. It's sort of, for example, I've, uh, I do a lot of seminars on this as well. As a matter of fact, I'm doing one for the Algonquin Management Center on February 2nd on the 12 disciplines. And I know that in the programs, when you allow time for people to write, they will do it. But right. if you let them do it on their own, the mm -hmm. chances of doing it are slim. Why have people become so undisciplined? That's a good question. <laughs> I wish I knew the answer. I don't think it's... We all want to do it. It's just there's so many priorities in our life, mm -hmm. and we're not focused. And the thing is, is with this program, you manage to get focused, and you ma monitor yourself on a daily basis. You see, your thoughts of today are your tomorrow. If you really focus on the things you want uh, five years, ten years down the road, a lot of people can't see a year down the road or six months down the road because we feel that circumstances drive us. Right. as opposed to creating our own circumstances. Determine where you want to go, set out a plan of action to get there, and take those steps day at a time. Are there things within this book that are going to appeal to specific individuals? Is it designed that way, or is it more or less an overview of how everybody can change in a sort of generalized way? Well, I think it applies to everybody. There's no specific group or people that I target it towards other than anybody who wants to live the life of your, their dreams. Mm -hmm. But to live the life of your dreams takes first the time to, what are those dreams? Yeah. So there's exercises in here to write out as if nothing was impossible, all your dreams, everything you'd want in life. And then the process, of course, is to narrow it down, group it, categorize it, prioritize it, and then put it out in specific goals. So it's not necessarily about money? No. 
it's not necessarily about money. If money's important to you, it could be about money. Right. But if it's, you know, uh, an automobile or just basic survival for yeah. somebody, some, if somebody has a goal just to get off welfare, to get a job, all these things apply. You see, success is what you, from the inside, it's an inside-out approach as right. opposed to the society way of outside in. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it. That's why it's itself, it comes from the inside. Where can people get the book, Bob? Well, it's available at a, a number of stores in Ottawa now, um, at uh, Collected Works on Wellington by Holland. Right. Also at the uh, Chapters store downtown in the market and at uh, Pinecrest. And I just haven't had the time to get out to the, <laughs> the rest yet. And I'm uh, actually working with a distributor now to have national distribution. Any book signings in the, in the horizon or on the horizon? Um, just the uh, February 2nd at the Algonquin uh, Management Centre where I'll be doing a public seminar. Fabulous. The book is dedicated to his two sons, Michael and David. It's called The Twelve Disciplines to Living the Life of Your Dreams, Master Self-Motivation and Personal Leadership. And our guest has been Bob Yurichuk. Thanks for dropping by, Thank Bob. Thank you very much, Dan.